All right, I want to give you the solutions to the green CFU problems here. So first question here is uh, parent graph. We know it's y equals x squared. So it's translated right to up 11 and compressed by a factor of two thirds. So the compressed factor tells us the A value is two thirds. We know that. And then translated right to, that tells us that H equals two. And then up 11, that tells us that K is 11. So we're gonna take that, put it into our function. So F of X, or you can say Y equals if you want. F of X equals two thirds multiplied by X minus two squared, and then plus 11. There's our first one. Next one, same process. So left four, this time tells me left four means H is negative four. Down three tells me K equals negative three. Um, reflected over the x-axis tells me the a value is negative. And then no vertical dilation means that the a value is 1, so it's going to be negative 1 for the reflection. All right, so here we go. f of x equals negative 1, parentheses, x minus negative 4. So that becomes x plus 4 squared, and then minus 3. All right. Last one. All right. This time it's translated right 6. So that tells me H is 6. Down 8. So K equals negative 8. It reflected over the x-axis, so we know that a is going to be a negative value. And then it has a vertical dilation. It says it's compression factor 0.25. So A is negative 0.25. Or if you prefer, you can write it as a fraction, negative 1 fourth. Either way is good. So we get f of x equals negative 1 fourth times x minus 6 squared, and then minus 8. All right, and that's it.